It's like a Polaroid right love 사랑 천스러운 그 감정 근데 내 가슴이 뛰어 When I Ilana It's like a Life lately for me has been consisting of like a lot of school stress like how come it always has to be around school 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 like all the time like i need a breather i feel like my routine is always ruined because of school like i always feel stressed because suddenly i have like one million different assignments that i need to get done in like one day and then I feel like my social battery is fully down. Like I'm never social anymore. I never hang out with my friends. I never have time to hang out with my friends. Like I literally feel so stressed at all times. Like how am I gonna do to do this test? What if I don't do good enough? Should I study? But then I don't want to study because I procrastinate and I'm just like my mind is exploding. So if you can somehow relate to what I just said in like any way, it doesn't have to be like that extreme. <laughs> My mind is exploding. But yeah, if you can relate, then lucky for you that you clicked on this video. Very quick disclaimer. I myself still in school and I'm still learning all of these things. I'm also making this video for myself. I need to tell you guys that because I need to take some of these tips as well. This video isn't like gonna eliminate all of your school stress and make school extremely easy for you, but I think a lot of these tips has helped me a lot um, enjoy school and feel happy about going to school. So hopefully, like some of these tips could help you guys in some kind of way. Anyways, I spent some days creating this list of some different things and some different tips that I have found myself that hopefully will help some of you guys. So first up is transportation. So we all have some form of transportation when we are going to school. And I like to see the transportation as a warm up for the workout. Okay, let's say you're about to do a workout. So before you do the workout, you of course need to warm up firstly. And the reason why you need to do that is because it prepares your body for the like physical activity. So I feel like before school, we need to prepare our mind and our body as well for school. So what I mean about you need a warm up for school, that is basically just prepping your mind and getting in the right mindset for school so not like being in the mindset of i don't even want to go to school i wish i stayed in my bed and just slept for the rest of the day like i literally do not want to see my friends or my teachers my classmates i don't want to do any work today i literally hate school and i don't i don't like school do, do you guys see what i mean like we cannot have you guys going to school and having this mindset that is just not gonna work out Every day before you go into school, prep your mind and be ready for school. Think to yourself, I'm on my way to school right now and I'm gonna be grateful for it. I'm gonna appreciate it and I'm not gonna be negative about it. It's just that little change in mindset that can like change your whole school day. Like it really can. The reason why I have this school warm up under transportation is because during transportation is like the perfect time to do this warm up. I know a lot of people, me included, have a long way to school. It used to take me two minutes to walk to school back then, but now ever since I changed schools, it takes me half an hour to get there. So that also means I have to head to school way earlier than before, which can be quite stressful. But you know, the transportation to school is something that I have to do, like, otherwise I can't get to school, so why not try to romanticize the transport to school instead of dreading it? Some of you guys may only have like a one minute walk, but during that one minute, you can still romanticize it. So myself, I have some different ways of transport. I usually go by bike, but I also go by car sometimes and also bus. So for example, if you go to school by car, you can like romanticize it by putting on your K-drama school playlist while acting like you're in a movie. That way you're actually also prepping your mind in a way, getting in that positive mindset before school as i talked about before the school warm-up 
some days I take the bus and I sometimes put my hand on the window and act like I'm the main character in a music video. Like honestly that's so fun, like just put some music in your ears and act like the main character. Another thing that you can do is meditate on the bus ride or in the car. I actually have done this a couple of times myself. I feel like for me it's so so relaxing and it really sets my mind in a positive space like right before school and it literally makes me get so much more excited for school like if you have a long way to school like try to meditate once in a while. If you bike to school or you walk to school you're automatically outside so that way you can already like appreciate the nature. There might not be that much nature where you guys live but still Appreciate that you are outside and getting some fresh air. Again, you can romanticize it with listening to some music and acting like the main character again. Like, it's really fun. I often also bike with one of my classmates, so we literally talk the entire way to school. Like, that can make it go by so fast. Enough about transportation. It's now something that you look forward to. Something that can help a lot with getting through school is having something that you are looking forward to. If you only focus on school and all the work you have to do, you won't be excited for school. So try to have something that makes you excited about going to school every day. So I have some different things that could excite you to go to school. First of all, I feel like you hear this a lot, but you could wear a cute outfit. Wearing a cute outfit for school can make it much more fun and enjoyable. Like, think about it. You are working on your really difficult assignments while looking cute. How does that not make you happy? <laughs> Figure out some different schoolgirl outfits that will make you feel pretty and confident for school. If you have a school uniform or a strict dress code, then do what you can. I know people who will do cute hairstyles instead or tie bows in their outfit and of course wear some jewelry. Another thing that you could have to look forward to is a cafe stop. Maybe on the way to school, you could stop at a little coffee shop and get something for when you're in school. Like having a little stop at a cafe would honestly make me so excited for school. Even during the break, you could go get coffee with one of your friends. Like, that would actually be so fun. Or after school, you could plan out a study cafe date with your friends again or by yourself. Another thing that you can look forward to is just learning. This might sound stupid to some of you guys, but really try to look forward to learning because learning can actually be so fun if you try to enjoy it a bit more. Next thing is breaks. Like, take breaks. Breaks are so incredibly important, but a lot of us forget to take them. I feel like it's really helpful to have something else other than school. You sometimes need a break from school so you don't burn out because if, if your mind is constantly school, 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 like 24-7, you're just not gonna enjoy it any longer. It's so important to just have something else other than school. It really doesn't have to be something big, it can also just be a little hobby that you do at home, for example like crocheting or drawing or I don't even know, something that you find fun, but just something other than school can be really helpful. The next thing is planning. Planning is also so, so, so incredibly important. You might already have that all figured out already, but I bet a lot of people don't really have a plan or a structure. First of all, we have schoolwork, homework, assignments, you know, whatever it may be, but you need to make a place where you write all of those down. In the weekends, I can sometimes have like five assignments in five different subjects and it can be really hard for me to remember everything that I need to do. So I have now made like a homework planner and it has honestly helped me out so much to keep track of everything that I need to do and like get everything done way quicker. Have a plan for after school. I know when school finishes for the day and I finally get home, the only thing that I want to do in that moment is lay in my bed and scroll on my phone. And I think we can all hear that that is just not the best idea. Of course we need a break as I mentioned earlier, but using our break on scrolling on our phones is such a waste. Without you even noticing, you will have suddenly spent the last 4 hours scrolling and it's suddenly way past your planned bedtime. 
that means you didn't get any of your homework done, it's extremely late, and you need to wake up super early. That already means that tomorrow is going to be ruined because you're going to be tired the entire day. And then you suddenly won't be working as well and as efficient as if you've had slept for those 8 hours. And just like that begins a bad cycle that would just repeat itself forever unless you change your habits. Therefore, it's so important to plan out or like create habits. And I want to point out that that does not mean that you need to make a long list of things that you should do. Like, no. Trust me, I've done that plenty of times and it always ends up looking so unmanageable which just ends up in me doing nothing. So make a list with the most important things that you have to get done. And when you finish those things, you'll then have the rest of the day to do something other than school and other than scrolling on your phone. Something that would just make you happy and excited and just get you in a positive state again. Pinterest board. Romanticize it with a Pinterest board. I actually have an entire Pinterest board myself where I added a bunch of pins that reminded me of my school life but in a more like romanticized way. This can help you notice all of the nice moments in school and enjoy it way more. School is fun. Stop being so serious and stressed with school. Like how are you gonna get through school with that mindset? So have fun with school. But a way you can like notice that school is actually fun is acting as if it was a survival show. That may sound incredibly weird, but I actually got this tip from one of my friends that she always acts as if it was a survival show. Like, for example, in PE, if you act as if it was a survival show, like, wouldn't it make it so much more fun? All of a sudden, I'm like the most athletic person in this entire world, and I'm gonna win this. Or in class, you can also like act as if it was a survival show. Try to participate a lot in class and answer some different questions and stuff like that. Like, have fun with it! Because really, you might not be able to see it, but school can be fun if you make it fun. Making friends. Making friends can both be so scary, but also so fun. School is full with a bunch of interesting and fun human beings, so like you can literally make friendships that may last a lifetime. Of course, it can be extremely scary talking to new people, but we should just try to go at it, you know? For example, in the different classes, you can ask the person who sits next to you a question about the work and start a conversation from there. You could compliment a person who you think looks very cool and start a conversation. You might even meet someone who has like the same hobbies as you. Like, there's so many people around you to make friends with. And trust me, friends make it way easier to get through school. But yeah, that was basically it for today's video. I really hope any of these tips could like inspire some of you guys or help any of you guys in some type of way. The process of making this video has literally taken so long, so I would really appreciate if you would like like this video or subscribe. It really means a lot to me. But yeah, I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you guys very soon with another video. Mwah.